Alright guys, welcome back to more Days Gone. I am having so much fun playing this game and I really really hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough as well. If you guys are, the best way to show that is of course to hit the like and subscribe button. Really helps the channel out, that's the best way to support me as well. So if you guys would just take a second of your time and help me out, it would mean a lot. But yeah, with all that out of the way, let's jump right back into some Days Gone. Okay, so for today, let's see what we have to do. Number one, yep, earning our keep. Take Iron Mag, Iron Mike up to the Metolius, Metolius Lava, Lava Cave. All right, let's do that. Deke. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. Is that it? We're gonna sprint. I got march duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. That old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freak stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. Nice uh. work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when. Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Oh my god, that's a horde. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out of here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Oh my god, look at that. Just what the hell are we doing? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. But you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer too. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Unless we take him down, of course, but this is a huge horde, man. Well, you got that much right. We lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or 
gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? Unless we can. This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down right there. There and there, we bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay, come on. Let's head back. All right, this is going to be interesting. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Trust me, old man, I can definitely yeah, keep up. Okay. Even with this, uh, with I'm the shitty stamina that he has. you an expert on freaks. You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick. Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one? Still fly- I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. I mean, he's got a point. I can't see why it won't work. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Hell yeah, man. Let's get it. St. John. You are supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike. You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. Saint John out. <laughs> you got something to say about it? Me and a couple of guys burned out. In All right. So back. before we go over here and do that, I think we should like refuel the bike. Here for your bike? 
Just looking for some stuff. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. See this you around. Thing is... Hey. Hey, how's it going? Um, okay. Yep, that's nice. Now that's an upgrade. Okay then. Ah, uh, first view. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Then does this bike, his bike, have like a V8 engine or something? Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lock boxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Can I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Well, at least I've cleared this place out before, so there shouldn't be too many freakers. Mike, the place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh... Weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. He will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah. I think I do. You really think his body is still going to be a body? Is it not going to be walking yeah. around? Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Is called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but it was bad. We had ammunition left after all, and well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. God damn it, this is disgusting, you didn't give a damn man. About sailing the caves. You brought me here because... You, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. 
Not true. All right, you got the key? We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming! With the Rippers! The one that Schizo so hot for! You think he cares how many Wait, die on it? either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Yeah, I did, right? Yeah. Come on, something has to go wrong. Things just can't be Here's this smooth. Place is locked up tight. Come on, gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Oh, a lot of things died in here. Nudes. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much light, kid. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. There we go. Hear that? Yeah. Were you expecting anyone? No. Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Damn, where can I get that gun? Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. That was easy. Right behind you. Oh, that is not all of them. There's a sniper there, where are you heading to, man? There's the bikes, come on. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. 
Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Let's go, man. Now, how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. About the rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit. No, Dick. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet, I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. It's easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. He's standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. I mean, Rippers don't really seem like humans, do they? You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. Well, let's hope so. Because those Reapers are crazy. Alright, what is up next? We have to go over here. Beacon tracks down Nero field research team. Okay. I mean, no time like the present. Let's let's get going. <laughs> Alright. This is the location. It's probably gonna be night or day. I don't know. Please don't be night. I'm so... I'm so scared, it's so scary at night, it's just freakers everywhere. Oh come on, it's night. This one's gonna be difficult, I think. Oh, Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now, be ready, O'Brien out. Uh, psh. that's why I'm here. At what point is Deacon gonna understand that he's just using him? Say, John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, I need the area yeah, secure now. Set up the this time, I need you to plant my trackers on their helo. Okay, let's get They're this done. Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. They're over here. Come on, there. guys, just gotta clean that. You sure we're locked down? I can't let them see me. Right, we're locked down. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? But you need to stop and fill up the old Beltro gas. Two zero six zero. Doing all right. Completed the survey of twenty four nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway lumber site. Truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, uh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. 
A crazy willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let <laughs> you know. Jesus. Just asking. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice, flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before my spots. He's just gonna be the same, right? We're gonna give him the info and he's just gonna cut the call. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? Well, I don't know what else we were expecting, but that is done. And now we let's go and check on who's it. Alright, back here at camp, let's quickly go and check on Boozer. We haven't checked on him after the whole amputation thing, I guess, so... Wonder how he's doing. I really hope he's fine, man. How's it going, brother? No, oh, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh... I could use a hand. Ha uh, ha ha. Oh. <laughs> you lay down. I just may I don't know how to react to that. Can't have visitors just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. All right, we got Boozer's shotgun. Seems like he's uh, getting that better. That should be fun. Okay, what next though? Uh, Bounty Hunter, we have to locate Lynchman. We could quickly do that, I guess. Refuel the bike and get over there. 
Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No. Why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated, but f okay, fine. I'll chase him down, Deacon out. <sighs> You're mine now. Oh shit, there he is! Let's go! That bitch, man, come on! Oh no, you're not gonna get away. No, you said John! Oh, come on, man. Oh, there's a lot of them. I'm not coming back! Let's go to hell! Where are you going? You can't get away! The hell with your son, John! Going, Lynch man. What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, and maybe we'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. All right, that one was fun. I like doing the chases. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Don't leave me here. No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Actually, I think I'm gonna end this part here for this time, and in the next one, we'll head over to Ricky's and see what she has for us. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know the drill leave a like down below, comment about anything you guys want to talk about, and hit that subscribe button because that really, really helps me out. Also, while you're down there, maybe hit that bell notification to be up to date with whenever I upload next. But yeah, with all that being said, this has been Blackout Haze, and I'll see you guys in the next one.